Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla and I'm going to say thank you for stopping by for a visit today. Today is December the 13th. Um, so it's the 13th baggie that I'm opening for the month of December. And what's happening is my son fixed me up some Advent bags and I'm opening a bag a day and getting a new yarn. It's just a small little yarn ball and I'm adding that into this panel that I'm making that is going to be a Rana, Rana, <laughs> I say that different every time I say it. It's a, it don't matter. Y'all you know what I'm talking about. It's a wrap. <laughs> And so this is the back part that's going to start at like the back of my knees and come up my back. And then when it comes over the front, it'll have two panels. So I'm enjoying working on this and adding in um, a new little ball of yarn every day. And it's working up pretty neat. I like it. I like it. I like how these colors are working up really pretty. And it has crossed my mind that this is really pretty, but I'm not going to see it because it's going to be like at my rear <laughs> this is the part i'll be sitting on <laughs> but anyway i am not drinking anything today because i am having a rough day i'm having a rough day i've been at the hospital all morning and i was nauseated and sick before i ever went there and my nurse that i had today she was so very nice so compassionate you know what i mean she was just awesome she got me a little sprite to sip on she got me a peppermint candy cane which i didn't ever open and then she got um alcohol wipes and she had opened one of those and gave to me to sniff she said that helps with nausea a lot um sadly to say nothing helped <laughs> Nothing helps. When I get nauseated, I'm nauseated. Like, really, nothing helps me. There's not a tea that actually helps. I mean, I love peppermint tea, and I drink peppermint tea just because I love it, but it does not help with my nausea, but I drink it anyway. <laughs> I drink it in hopes that it's going to help, but it doesn't. But anyway, and so I went for my infusion this morning, my iron infusion, because i um, chronic anemic and i have to get iron infusions like um every you know few months or so i got a set in october and here it is december my iron's depleted again and so you know. Darn. And somebody did mention to me about tea, and we, I tried that. I tried like avoiding tea. I, di I didn't drink tea. I stopped all tea um, a couple years ago to see if that made a difference, and it did not make a bit of difference in my iron. I was still depleted like every couple of months. And so I did that for a while, and then I was like, I love tea. Why am I like being miserable and not having tea? I need some joy in my life, so I'm going to drink tea because it's not making it better or worse, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, but thank you for, you know, the comment anyway. But I had, um, my, my veins are horrible. My veins are just horrible. They're tiny veins that move and they're, I don't know, they just can never get my veins. And I never pre-tell a nurse that because I don't want her to be nervous. I want her to like, you know, stick it like she would stick anybody else thinking she's going to get the vein. And so when I went in, the lady asked me, she said, do you have good veins? I said, we'll see. And because I didn't want to tell her, no, I have horrible veins. And then her get all nervous and, you know, not be able to get the vein. Because there's a chance that she might hit the vein on the first try. Who knows? I mean, it doesn't happen with me, but she could. And so, she stoked me five times. And there was two times she said, I know I'm in this vein. I'm in the vein. 
they had the vein binder out and everything. And so after the fifth time, she said, I'm going to go get um, the cancer doctor. Now, I get the iron infusions in the oncology department. And so there's a cancer doctor there that's seeing patients and stuff. So she went and got this lady cancer doctor and she came and talked to me. She was so very nice too, just very nice. I mean, I'm not her patient, um, but she came and talked to me anyway. And she asked me, you know, would I be willing to get a pick line put in? And I told her, yeah that I've had lots of pick lines and mid lines before. So that would be fine as long as it, you know, I'm able to get my medication and all and get to feeling better because I really need that iron infusion. So um, she said they were going to call for the guy who does mid lines to come and do that. And she said she's going to talk to my doctor about me getting a port put in my chest because that's just ridiculous. My veins are so bad. And, you know, this one nurse was telling her, she said, I know I was in that vein two times for sure. And I just, nothing was coming. And so I told him about when, um, you know, I've had fingers cut off and he doesn't even have to inflate the tourniquet because when he cuts the finger off, it does not even bleed. And the, the, <laughs> The cancer doctor, her eyes got like huge and she's like, what do you mean? I said, he said that he doesn't have to inflate the tourniquet because he cuts the finger off and there's no blood coming out. And she's like, that's not normal. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't do anything normal, okay? So anyway, um, looks like I'll be getting a port put in my chest in the future. And that will be more helpful for when I get iron infusions or just what everything else that I have to do but for today I ended up getting the midline put in and um, so I'm um, sporting this little ivy around so I'll have that for at least a week I go back a week and get another infusion and um, hopefully my arm is going to go up a little bit and I will get to feeling better um, just energy wise and you know not feeling so bad but anyway it's been a long day and then it was taking so long and big daddy had to go to work because he had a meeting at like 12 someone was coming to his work to meet with him about a new system they're putting in and he's the one that has to train everybody else for, on the system so he needs to know everything about the system so he you know, was like, he had to leave for work. And so our oldest son was off today um, just by chance. He's never off on a Tuesday and he'll never be off on a Tuesday again. <laughs> but he was off um, because he actually starts a new job tomorrow and I'm so excited for him. So he um, came and got me. Big Daddy went on to work and our oldest son came and got me and brought me home. And so, yeah, I've just been feeling really bad today. But, you know, I'm trying to make the best of it anyway. It is what it is, right? <laughs> so today, let's open bag 13. Yeah, bag 13 and see what color yarn I'm going to be adding into this. I mean, at this point, any color will go, right? I think any color will go. So let's see what we have. It feels like something big in this in this bag. Oh yeah, this will look good. Okay, so the color is green, and that is a beautiful green. Um, it's a bright green, and I think that will look really good next to this pink for sure. Uh, I was trying to see what end had the tail. <laughs> and the surprise that I had in there today is milk chocolate hot cocoa bombs. It's four of these hot cocoa bombs. I don't know where he got that yet. Milk chocolate with mini marshmallows. And this is what the back looks like. So maybe I'll try that tomorrow. I've never 
I've never done this. So, I don't know, do you put water or milk? I'll have to read it and see. I've always wondered, did you put water or milk? Let's see. Oh, hot milk. Drop a bomb in six ounces of hot milk. Stir. Watch marshmallows pop to the top. I might record doing that tomorrow and see how that turns out. Yeah, I've never done that before, so that'll be fun. We'll do that tomorrow. That's a treat. A fun treat. So, on this um, pink, I was working on this white. Wait, did I do that right? I dreamed about this after I had worked on this and then I went to sleep. I dreamed that I did a whole row wrong. <laughs> so I was working on this white and I was doing double crochets just to get my stitch count back up. I don't know what that stitch count is because um, I, I hadn't counted anything. And so then I ran out of the white and I had to change to the pink. So I just did the double crochets in every stitch. And every double crochet, I did a double crochet. And every chain one space, I did a double crochet. So I did that all the way to the end. And then when it was time to um, turn my work, I just started doing V-stitches. I don't know. I really didn't plan on that. I just started doing V-stitches, and I did that all the way down. I really like doing the V-stitch, so that's probably why I just started doing it. <laughs> So I did the V-stitches um, all the way down, and I turned my work, and I continued doing um, a V-stitch. And so now I'll um, add in this green and do V-stitches all the way down there to the end. And then when I turn, I might do a different stitch, or I might do V-stitches. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel at the moment. <laughs> if I feel like I'm feeling right now, I'm probably just going to do these stitches because they're easy. <laughs> and so I'm using a, uh, here is my hook. I'm using a 7 millimeter hook. I might have not brought my hook in here. I guess I did. I brought my, um, unless it's in that, no. I brought my hand strap. I guess I didn't bring my hook. But anyway. So I'm not going to crochet today. <laughs> I'm feeling really bad anyway. And I know you all understand. Um, I appreciate you watching. And just being here with me today. We are just going to have some bad storms. And if you are in the path of those storms. I pray that you are safe and um that your home is safe and you know nothing happens we are um expecting like 80 miles per hour winds and tornadoes and i don't know just it's dark already the wind is blowing pretty bad already <laughs> when i came out of the hospital oh my hair was just going all over the place it was just crazy mess I mean, it was all in my face and everything. I couldn't even get get the hair out of my face. <laughs> and then, um, I think the weather is supposed to stay bad for us, like, here just a little bit when it starts. Then all evening and all night until the wee hours of Wednesday morning. And then I think it's supposed to just rain tomorrow. So, if you're in the path of these storms coming through, I pray that you're safe and you know, pay attention to your weather and get somewhere safe. I do not have a room that doesn't have a window. Um, I think the kitchen would be the best bet for me. If, you know, it did get super bad like that, like if I was really scared of a tornado. But um, every room we have has windows, so we don't have an interior room. But anyway, guys, um... I will let you all get going, and it's a beautiful day to crochet, even in a storm. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends. Oh.